Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. San Diego-based company Organovo has developed a bioprinter that is making strips of liver tissue that could be used to test new drugs before they're administered to humans. One of the two printer's syringes is filled with spheroids containing parenchymal liver cells which are used to assess the potential toxicity or efficacy of drugs. The second syringe contains bio-ink with non-parenchymal liver cells which bolster cellular development and a hydrogel that helps with extrusion. A computer connected to the printer instructs a robotic arm that moves the syringe to print a mold in a honeycomb pattern. A small sensor then determines the location of the first syringe. Then parenchymal cells are added to the well plate's mold. Once the different cells are mixed, the well plate is placed into an incubator where they continue fusing until they eventually form the complex matrix of a liver tissue. Hello, we're here at uh, Inside 3D Printing Santa Clara again. Um, I'm here with Keith Murphy, the chairman and CEO of, of Organovo. How's the show been so far for you? It's been very good. I've been enjoying the presentations. Fantastic. So Organovo has a bit of a reputation as the pioneer with 3D bioprinting. Bio Can you tell us where your research is up to at the moment? Well, we've done a lot of uh, different tissues that we make with the bioprinting capabilities. And uh, right now, I'd say the two that are most advanced would be 3D liver tissue and 3D breast cancer tissue for modeling for disease modeling. And the liver actually will be a launched product as of next month, so November 2014. We're offering it as a service where a pharma company can come to us um, with, say, five to ten compounds that they want tested in the system and find the toxicity of these compounds in a liver model that's better than anything that's been used before. Uh, breast cancer, we're in early stages of that, but we do have an architecturally correct breast cancer tumor model that's showing us new things in the research and that we are now starting to talk to farmers about utilizing in their research. Fantastic. So what, what comes next? Uh, well, next are more tissues and greater applications. Next in sort of an in vitro use for research is going to be kidney. That's something we're actively in R&D on, early stage R&D. And you'll hear more about data coming out of that next year. And then um, we're working avidly towards putting things into human trials eventually. So we're in animal trials with some tissue patches things that can eventually be used, uh, bioprinted tissues that can be transplanted into a human for use in directly treating a disease. Wow, <laughs> that's quite something. Yeah. So how long do you, do you think it, it'll be until the world sees the first uh, transplantable 3D bioprinted organ? It, it may be some time, but I think um, the things that I was just speaking about, they may not be full organs, but they are tissues that can be used directly in people, and they could be organ tissues. So for example, a liver patch. So someone who needs a transplant might benefit most fully from having a full organ to transplant, but if you can give them a smaller patch that might delay a transplant by a year, that's really powerful. And that's the kind of capabilities that we're getting close to now, not the full organ, but these patches. Um, but even before that, there are already applications, not f that Organovo is pursuing, but where people are making bioprinted, I'm sorry, 3D printed implants um, made of plastic or metal materials that are being used in directly in, in medical uses so basically you know hip implants or or skull replacement fragments and things like this that can be directly designed for the patient so the things that um, medical modeling which was picked up this year by 3d systems is doing really powerful Im impact on patients directly already well <laughs> this just goes on and on it's it's incredible so what is the best application other than bioprinting that you you think for 3d printing technology can do Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. Um, well, I think that the, one of the best things about bioprinting, um, or one of the best things about 3D printing in the context of bioprinting is that it's really enabling, meaning that you can't use other manufacturing technologies to, to achieve the same goals. So I think that's really powerful. And clearly in, in 3D printing, with traditional materials, um, you absolutely have that same enablement, you know, design enablement, um, the way you can make structures, the strength to weight ratio, things like this are really powerful. But maybe the one, one interesting thing that intrigues me about how we're going to use it is the ability to um, 
do remote repair and replacement of parts. So you're talking about space missions, things like this, or who knows, you know, remote colonies somewhere uh, where you, you know, you would have a much better time if you could replace all your parts um, yourself just having a standard kit uh, and a 3D bioprinting, a kit of materials and then 3D bioprinter to do it on hand. That's going to be really powerful to, to enable some of those missions, I would think. Wow, well, that's great. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's good stuff. Thank you very much. All right, for thank the you. Time. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems. <laughs>